I got three more. Here are three more Mac tips you probably didn't know about. What we got today is another follow-up to a video I did. Maybe, a, I think it was a, two videos ago or so. It was basically three different Mac tips that you probably don't know about or you've never used before. And I got three more. So what I'm gonna do is, these videos are super simple. I just share my screen. I'm gonna go over to my iMac over there. Gonna go ahead and share my screen and show you the three different tips you can use. And they're gonna help you in like everyday tasks. They can be things that just get productivity done better or just are cool to know. I bet you a lot of people don't know about these. So I have three more. So if you're interested in the Mac, like an M1 Mac, or it can even be an older Mac, and Mac OS. Uh, these are gonna usually work on the most current versions of Mac OS. So without further ado, let's get into it. Nothing to kind of let you know prolong the beginning of the video for, but um, I'm gonna walk over there, share my screen, and uh, let me know at the end of the video what you think. All right, so tip number one is gonna be something like I did before. I did a video two videos ago that showed you how to remove objects from a picture. And this is gonna be kind of cutting something out so you can move it somewhere else. And I'm gonna show you that. So here's a picture, it's just a random picture, and I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it to open it in preview. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's opened in preview, and I'll move it to the center here. You can see it's preview. Here's the picture. You wanna pick a picture that has kind of a flat background with the, you know obviously the image in the foreground to make this easier. Um, but let me show you what this is all about. So the first thing you want to do is up at the top bar There's like this little circle with it looks like a pencil or a pen inside It's called the markup tool click on that first and as you can see let me just open this up a little bit as you can see here um, There's like a little uh, square with uh, dotted lines in the very left hand side over here So go ahead and click on that and then go down to smart lasso so smart lasso And now you have this little smart lasso in your hand what you want to do is you want to go down to the image and kind of outline, or outline around this guy. So I'm gonna click the button and I'm gonna start drawing. And I wanna to try to be, I can't do this while I'm on talking on camera here because I got the microphone in front of me and I'm not paying too much attention. But what you wanna do is take as much time as you can and really trace out the best you can this person here. And uh, the more time you take to trace it out, the better the result will be. Plus you can pick a different size brush and stuff to make it a little bit finer. So anyways, as I'm kind of going through this, let me just finish this off here at the end with the camera. I want that in the picture as well. So I'm gonna go around the camera and then basically down here. Then I'm gonna continue all the way over here and then back up. So what I wanna do is I let go of my mouse and you can see that it's kind of highlighted that person. So next step, this is important. You wanna go up to edit up here in preview obviously, but go to edit, and then you wanna to go to invert selection, click that. Now it's inverted. Now on the keyboard, right after you did that, you wanna click delete on the keyboard. And then it says convert this document to PNG. You wanna go ahead and you can convert it, and then there you go. And I didn't do the best job in the world because um, I didn't do the best job of tracing it. You can see there's some areas where it wasn't the best. You can change the brush size and stuff, but you get the gist of it. You can go ahead and save this then and you can go ahead and insert this on top of another image so you can kind of put somebody over a different background. It's kind of cool and again, you have to make sure you save, you know, make sure you have two copies of your original. You don't want to overwrite it and stuff. But at the end of the day, I use this quite a bit when I'm making thumbnails and stuff. So just a little feature you can use every day. All right, so here's a tip that I use all the time. So there's gonna be a couple different ways you can use this, so stay with me for a second. I have a bunch of different sites open. I have uh, obviously the Weather Channel, you know, Newegg, Best Buy, ESPN, whatever you wanna open up on the web. Let's just say, let's say you're not paying attention and you just go ahead and you close one of these tabs accidentally. Everyone's done that and you're like, let's say it was a really rogue page, you had no idea where you got to that page. You're like, how do I get back to it? All you have to do is just hit Shift, Command, and T as in Tom. So Shift, Command, T as in Tom. And it launches that right back up. Look at that. So it's going to launch it right up. So let's say you close down, I'm going to close down two of them. Shift, Command, T twice. It'll bring both of those tabs right back up. And you're right back to where you were. So that's not even that important. So what you can do even more so than this is these four are all open here. Let's just assume that you accidentally shut your browser down just like that. And it's completely down. If I go up to Chrome, so let's just say we go down and we launch a new browser like this, and now it's open. So even though you're on a new browser, all you have to do here is hit Shift Command T, and you notice, look at that, it just launched all four of those tabs because those are the four I just, you know, just basically lost. And it found all four of them instantaneous by doing that. Now, if I kept hitting Shift Command T, it would even go back as far as all the tabs I opened up for the day. So, if you want to go back, you know, to the morning when you had tabs open, click, click, you know, keep doing it. Maybe don't open all of them. Maybe shut the first one so you can save on memory and stuff, and you'll get all the way back. 
All right, if you watch my channel, you know I have a lot of different background images, and where do I get those for free? So there's two parts of this. I'm gonna show you where to get it for free, and then how to get it easier for free. So give me one second. The very first thing you wanna do is, let's just assume, let's go ahead and open up a browser here. And the website that you wanna to go to is called Unsplash unsplash.com you can see it there and these are all royalty free photos so if you you know if you type in dog and you click search for it these are all photos that you can download for free and it says use you just don't even have to give credit for it either they're all royalty free it's incredible and uh, all high res images now obviously you can take these save them you click on this little arrow here save them and then you can set as your desktop that that's easy but how do you do it even easier? So I showed this to some people a long time ago, but if you go into here, there's an app in here, and let me see if I can actually find it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, oh, here it is. Unsplashed Wallpapers. You can download it from the App Store, Unsplashed Wallpapers. So if you click on that, it's gonna make this little icon up here. You can barely see it up there. I'm gonna click on that icon, and now all you have to do is, it's gonna grab images right from that website. You just click this little button here, it swirls it, and it picks images that it thinks is good for you. And uh, so you keep clicking it until you see one that you like. Let me just keep going, I don't see, I like that one. So I'm just gonna go set as wallpaper, and uh, watch, in two seconds, it's on my wallpaper, there it is, changed. You can go ahead and use this every day, or you can go up here and just shut it down if you don't want it, quit, and there you go. It's downloaded, very easy. I hope this tip helps everybody. It freshens your day when you get new wallpapers, even though it's a little, little thing, but it freshens up my day. Ooh, and one more thing, if you have an image like this, instead of just downloading it, if you click on the image like this, and then you go up to download free over here, it'll give you some options if you want a smaller version or a larger version, medium. Just I just wanted to throw that in there. Original size is usually what it puts on your, your desktop if you do it that other way, but here you can get smaller sizes if you want. All right, let's wrap this up. So the one where you can take a picture and kind of cut it out is pretty useful for me because I make videos and I make you know my little splash pages and stuff. If you're not into graphic arts, I can see maybe that's not the, the most important to you. But the one about the browser where you actually can go in and you can, you know, obviously, if you forget, if you close down your browser, you can go ahead and just open up the tabs you were just on. And a little tip for parents, if you want to see what your kids are watching or going into, you can do the same thing. So I don't recommend doing it, but there it is. Um, anyways, you can go ahead and check on, and you know, if you closed everything accidentally, that's one that I use all the time. So let me know in the comments what you think is the most out of the three, most, I guess, useful that you would actually use. And I'll try to make other videos like this. I try to, again, keep them to three, maybe four, three to four, just so people can kind of absorb them and uh, learn them over time. It's hard to remember all the keystrokes. And I even, I, mean, I use the Macs all the time and I even forget things and how to use them, you know, just because I don't use them that often. So you gotta kind of do things just slowly but surely, learn one, keep using it, and eventually it sticks with you. Anyways, if you guys can support the channel and subscribe, uh, definitely you know, click the like button if you can. Subscribe, it's gonna help my viewership. And I'm gonna be making a lot of videos. I'm gonna be mixing them with product reviews, some gadgets just for fun, you know, electronic gadgets and stuff. Maybe the most, not completely related to the Mac, but just something you can have fun with. I do a lot of Mac stuff, a lot of PC stuff, and everything in between, Chromebooks, you know, monitors, you name it. So subscribe if you can. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.